Today I'll be showing you how to use a custom jar with Multicraft. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Kerosene YouTube channel. I am Jake from Kerosene.com and today we'll be installing a custom jar onto your Minecraft server using the Multicraft panel of Kerosene.com. So the first step is to connect your server to FileZilla. You can do that using the guide on screen now. The guide is also linked in the description. Once you've fully connected your server to FileZilla, you should completely stop your server and upload the custom jar file into the main file directory as you see on screen now. The jar file I'm using in this video is just a paper spigot jar file that is renamed to custom.jar just for the tutorial purposes. This should only take about a minute to upload, but I sped mine up and we will move on to the next step. If you currently have a jar file named minecraft underscore server.jar, then you can delete it and rename the custom jar file that you just uploaded to minecraft underscore server.jar and replace it. The next step is to just make sure that Multicraft is using the same jar file that you just uploaded so go over to Multicraft and the jar file section should say minecraft underscore server dot jar. If it is, click the save button at the bottom and you are done. On screen now you can see I'm on the server and typing in such version and you can see I am using the paper spigot version I uploaded earlier. And I think that's pretty much it. If you need further assistance, you can leave a comment or make a ticket on the Cure Hosting website. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorial videos and Cure Hosting announcements. If you're in the market for buying a server, you can use the code KHYT on screen now. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Taking off.